Um, hey, you know what? This has been a hot topic. We're not going to get into the uh, whether it's right or wrong of this situation because everyone has an opinion on this. It's with Trevor Bauer and you are in the Mexican League. Have you faced their team? Uh, we have faced their team. We did not face Bauer for that t- those two series, unfortunately. But mm-hmm. definitely wanted to see him pitch. He's been uh, he's been lighting up the the stat sheet down here. But yeah. That- so and then maybe this is, gives good context because again, for you, like the ultimate goal, you're trying to you're continuing to play. You're trying to get back into affiliated ball, right? And and continue yeah. your career. So it, can you give an, a maybe a comp with the Mexican League right now as far as the level of competition overall specifically? Because I think people look at that and they're like, wow, it's incredible, which, you know, he's done well, right? Yeah. No doubt about it. I'm not, not discrediting that. But there is a difference and there is a, there is yeah. a sizable difference, right? Yeah, I mean – you get two pretty good teams together. You're probably looking at a triple A game. I mean, you're looking at guys that were, that are on our team. You know, we had Alex Colomay on our team, Fernando yeah. Abad, you know, we got guys with five, six years of big league service time, you know, probably maybe on the back end of their careers, but I mean, they've still been there. So, you know, Robbie Cano's hitting, he's hitting about four forty in this league right now. Yeah. What the hell is going on? But uh, yeah, I mean, you get two pretty good teams together. It's going to be, triple a level um you know obviously two bad teams playing against each other might be closer to double a but i mm. you know any 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 day of the week it'd be double a triple a um level and then you also have the aspect of elevation here i mean you're playing in mexico city which is 7500 feet you're playing our our stadium here is is the same as course field you know you got oh. six or seven stadiums that are over over uh, or higher than course field. So, I mean, you're taking that aspect into the, into play too. So um, that creates some pretty crazy games and some pretty wild scores sometimes, but, um, but yeah, I mean, anywhere between double A and triple A at any given time. So really, so the one that's, it's good, it's good insight. So specifically in some of the places elevation for people that don't know in this situation, the ball does fly. So when you mentioned Colorado course field, that ball carries. So in this league, it's not a pitcher's league, Mickey, especially yeah. not for you. Sorry about that. So that's an upside. But to give the context of it, yeah, these are guys that are trying to get back to that level. And we've seen guys at the big leagues. There's there's a difference of it. You know, there's there's yeah. no sugarcoating that. It's a, it's a very, very solid league, good players. But the consistency level that you see at the big leagues, that's the yeah. top of the top. And other leagues, too, Mickey, if I'm not mistaken, you know, Mexican league, obviously we just talked about going over to Korea, playing over there, Japan, those are other good leagues, but there's a reason yeah. why everyone's trying to get to the majors. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 it's so much far and above. And I think you even see it um, this year in, from AAA to the big leagues, like guys are dominating at the AAA level and then they get called up. And I think that gap between the AAA and, and big leagues is bigger than it than it's ever been you know um yeah. you're seeing a lot younger guys not as experienced in triple a so you know some older guys might be dominating in triple a and then they get the call up and it's it's just it's just a huge gap between between those levels and again like you said i think that's why everybody's trying to get there yeah you know uh uncle mike talked about it you know you know uncle mike elias yeah <laughs> so you you remember you remember our uncle yeah, uh so we talked I, yeah you heard of the guy he was there <laughs> Uh, so it, it's always so weird now, uh, Mick, where I am uh, like being out of it now, where we're, we're the players and you're, he's walking by or you're there and we're like, does he like us? Does he not? I don't know. <laughs> you know all right. Does he he's here. Who I am? Does he know? Does he even know who we are? That's the other question always goes through our mind. But uh, he did. I got to sit down on one on one interview and, and it's been great on the other side of not having to feel like the evaluation because he is a really great guy and a, uh, as we know, smart guy, very intuitive. And he was explaining in AAA right now the conversation where with all the injuries, some of those arms, like you remember the the best team that we saw in 21 was the Durham Bulls, and their bullpen had five or six big league arms that were there that they were rotating through constantly. Right now, yeah. Mike was saying that they don't have the consistency of the arms in AAA, so for some of their players, the gap's even more because those AAA arms 
that are more rotation guys or, you know, going up and down are in the big leagues because of all the injuries. I guess that makes yeah. sense too, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. 